Hello, good afternoon, Tribuners. Welcome back with me, Mutiara, in Indonesian News of Tribun Lampo. We will present you an updating and interesting information from every place in Indonesia. And here are the complete news. The first news is viral video of fathers earthquake victims wearing negligent clothes in the midst of the grief of the victims of the Cianjur earthquake some time ago, a video viral on social media of Chiang Tamil victims of the Cianjur earthquake wearing Nick Leakey. The video of the victims of the Cianjur earthquake wearing Nick Leakey is enough to attract the attention of netizen. This hilarious action of gentlemen who were victims of Cianjur earthquake wearing Nick Leakey was uploaded by one of the TikTok account owners at Mukhtar Supiandi on Saturday, the 26th of November 2022. When clothing aid came for the victims of the Cianjur earthquake, 95% were women's clothes. In the about, you can see a group of gentlemen wearing the clothes that were given to them by the community. The reason is that most of the aid that comes is women's clothing which makes them inevitably have to wear it too. In some of the uploaded slides, you can see the hilarious action of the gentleman posing intense women's clothes in the form of negligee or hope. With their dancing bodies, they pose little slightly adjusting the clothes they wear. It didn't stop there. Those gentlemen were also seen wearing headscarves to support their appearance. Their actions succeeded in inviting louder from local residents who were victims of the Chiangjo earthquake at the evacuation post and netizens. Their hilarious action became entertainment in the midst of the grief that is currently enveloping them. The reason is that the song really describes their current situation, which inevitably has to accept any assistance given by the community. As is well known, the earthquake that Roki Chianjur left them with deep sorrow. Not a few who lost their homes and even relatives because of the natural disaster. The upload also reaped various comments from netizens who salute the joy of these gentlemen even though they are being hit by a disaster. The next news is, a child was attacked by a wild boar. The afternoon should be beautiful playing time for Azira. However, on just day, the 22nd of November 2022, in the afternoon at 4 p.m., it became a disaster for this 9-year-old girl. When she was playing with her friends, Azira was attacked by a wild boar. Suddenly, a wild boar came and attacked Azira and caused it a wound. The 5th grade elementary school girls come from Korong Kampuang Tangah, Balai Baik Malai Tiga Koto, Aur Malintang Padang Pariaman, West Sumatra. The major of Nagari Balai Bayak Malai Tiga Koto Abu Zanar said that the incident occurred when a number of residents were carrying out a pig hunting agenda on just died the 22nd of November 2022. He explained that the location of the pig hunting this time was 5 kilometers from where the boy was rammed by a wild boar. After attacking Azira, the wild boar ran away and disappeared into the bushes. As a result of the incident, Azira suffered a number of injuries on her body. He received stitches on his thighs and arms. When the incident occurred, the victim was rushed to the Lubuk Basung Regional General Hospital for further treatment and surgery. This treatment, said Abu Zanar, was assisted by the community and the Nagari government. 
This is not the first time that wild boars have attacked residents in Padang Pariaman. The residents of Sungai Limau, Padang Pariaman, West Sumatra, were ramed by a wild boar when there was a hunt around the location where residents live. The next news is the first victims of the helicopter crash in Bangka Belitung have found. The bodies of the first victims of the helicopter crash in Bangka Belitung have been found. The victim was Second Brigadier Koirul Anam. Second Brigadier Koirul Anam became the first body found in the crash of the P1103 helicopter around Burong Mandi Beach, Damar District, East Belitung, Rajansi. In the telegram seen by tribunnews.com, 2nd Brigadier Khoirul Anam has the full name Muhammad Khoirul Anam. He is a member of the Indonesian National Police from Magetan who served as an executive technician at the Air Police Directorate of the Indonesian National Police Security Maintenance Agency. Meanwhile, the Republic of Indonesia Police Security Maintenance Agency, Commissioner General of Police Arif Sulistianto revealed that the discovery of the first body of the P-1103 helicopter crew started with reports of fisherman finding a passenger seat. Arif explained that the fisherman named Sobri Wasolat found a helicopter passenger seat at Magar Belitung in the east or near Burau Mandi Beach on Sunday, the 27th of November 2022 in the evening. Then said Arif, the team also conducted a search in Magar waters. According to him, the team's hard work paid off after finding a body belonging to the crew of the P-1103 helicopter on Monday, the 28th of November 2022. Arif suspects that the P-1103 helicopter crashed due to the bad weather when cruising Manga waters. Until now, the joint team is still carrying out search operation led directly by him. The next news is successive accident on the Chitarik Highway, Sukabumi District. A series of accidents occurred on Chitarik Highway, Chitarik Village, Palabuhan Ratun District, Sukabumi Regency on Sunday, the 27th of November 2022. The series of incidents involved four vehicles consisting of two trucks, one public transportation, and a motorbike. It seems that the vehicle involved in the successive accident are still stuck in the middle of the road and have not been removed. The yellow truck and the green container truck are in the middle of the road in a collision position. Meanwhile, in public transportation, a turn in a ditch on the side of the road next to the two trucks that were still attached. In the ditch, right under the Afrachern public transportation, you can see a motorcycle that was prepared by the public transportation. The condition of the bus looks badly damaged, the rear glass is broken. According to information received by tribunjabar.id, the accident started when the yellow truck lost control. The truck then ran into a minibus until the public transportation overturned, then hit a container truck that was passing by. Meanwhile, the motorcycle overturned because it was struck by a bus. As a result of the successive accident, traffic flow was distributed and stopped completely. The next news is, a 5-year-old boy who was a victim of a fire died after undergoing treatment. A 5-year-old boy who was critically ill and was hospitalized as a result of being a victim of a fire in the Badan Tuntungan district finally died. The sad news was conveyed by the head of neighborhood Wang Sidomulyo, Medan Tuntungan district, Medan City, Redwan. He said the boy was the second child of Darwin Manuru, the owner of a repair shop that caught fire on Saturday, the 26th of November 2022 yesterday. He explained that now the total number of the victims who died in the fire at the church is four people. The victims are Estrada Manurung, 23 years old, Marintan Manurung, 7 years old, Damian Clement Manurung, 1.2 years old, and most recently Griven Manurung, 5 years old. 
He said the bodies of the five victims were buried in their hometown in Porsche District, Toba Regency. Previously, head of the Prevention and Fire Department, Albon Sidauruk, explained that his party received information from President around 2 p.m. They had difficulty extinguishing the fire because the shop house was fenced with iron. However, officers managed to penetrate the location and extinguish the fire. Albon explained that the victim died not because of the fire but due to smoke inhalation due to not being able to save himself. It is suspected that the victim is kept to the bathroom. The next news is inauguration of the construction of a nickel smelter factory in Kolaka. The construction of the Hard Preser Acid Leaching Nickel Smelter Factory project in Pomala, Kolaka, Sori, Sulawesi has started. This was indicated by pressing a button on the screen by the Coordinating Minister for Maritime Affairs and Investment Luhut Bansar Panjaitan on Sunday, the 27th of November 2022. Governor of Saudi Sulawesi, Ali Mazi, President Director or CEO of the company Val Indonesia, Febriani Edi, Regent of Kolaka, Ahmad Safei, Chairman of Kuwayo Zejang Kobad, Chairman Chen also participated in this inauguration. Luhut Binsar Panjaitan appreciated the project, which is a collaboration between two global companies that have invested in Indonesia before. The two companies that are working together are Fail and Zhejiang Huayu Cobalt Company Limited to Kolaka Nickel Indonesia. According to him, this shows a strong commitment and support for nickel downstream which has been promoted by the government of the Indonesia in recent years. The combination of Fail Company's global leadership in sustainable mining and Huawei's sustainable technical know-how is expected to strengthen Indonesia's position in the green energy value chain. He said in this case to supply the Indonesia and world markets with high quality and sustainable materials, Luhut also said that the production of high pressure acid leaching in Indonesia is the largest in the world. For that, he asked for the support of all parties to help develop this potential. Moreover, according to him, the management of the environment around the factory by Fell Company is considered very good, for example, in Sorowako, South Sulawesi. The government of North Sulawesi, Ali Mazi, support the presence of the Pomala Block to increase the contribution of the mining sector to encourage local revenue and downstream in accordance with the government's vision. The last news is, Eric Tohir has an important role in Kesang's marriage. Minister of State Audit Enterprises Eric Tohir played an important role in arranging the marriage of President Joko Widodo's young son Kesang Pangarep to Erina Gudono. He also stated that he was not abusing his position even though he was taking care of the presidential family's wedding. As is well known, his son Mahendra Rater Hantohir is the president commissioner of the Percy Solo Size 2 company. He leads Percy Solo with Kesan. Eric Tohir assured that while dealing with marriage, his judges as minister were not set aside. According to him, it is not only right for him to help his son's business partner, whom be he considers his own family. After all, Holidays can be used for private events. They are holding a dress rehearsal on Sunday, the 27th of November 2022. This dress rehearsal simulated a carnival from Loji Gandrung to Pura Mangku Negara. Well, I think that's all the news for today with me, Mutiara. Don't forget to follow us in YouTube Tribun Lampung News Video, Facebook Tribun Lampung, Instagram, and TikTok account of Tribun Lampung for further information. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.